Hi there. If you're new to my channel, my name is Rowena. And if you are a returning viewer, then welcome back. It is really lovely to have you. Today's video is in response to a comment by SSC. SSC says, thanks so much. Love your content and you have really inspired me to be frugal and I'm loving it. I live in Australia as well. And I noticed a lot of my friends spend a lot of money on entertainment, such as clubbing, dining, traveling, cafes, theme parks, going to watch sports, etc. I was wondering whether there are ways to be entertained without spending money. Would love for you to make a video on this topic if you have the time. Thanks SSC. This is a great question because who doesn't like to relax and have fun? And just because you want to have a good time doesn't mean this should blow the budget. Being frugal doesn't mean that you don't want to have fun. I used to believe that I had to spend money in order to enjoy myself also. But for a very long time now, I have really found my pleasure in activities that cost me almost nothing or absolutely nothing to partake in. So in no particular order, here are some ways that you can have frugal fun. Every couple of weekends, we like to get together with my kids and their partners to play some type of sport at our local school's grounds. Now, luckily for us, the school always keeps their courts open to the public after school hours and on the weekends. They have a couple of cricket nets, they have two basketball courts, and they have recently painted some tennis courts on also. We also have a local community tennis court not far from us. The sports we enjoy playing together are tennis, basketball and cricket. And some of us are not particularly good at any of these, but it doesn't matter. It's all part of the fun anyway. So these are the particular sports we enjoy, but there are plenty of others for you to choose from. For example, you may prefer to play baseball or football or uh, play badminton or um, even play with the frisbee. Now sure, there is some initial outlay to purchase balls, rackets and bats to participate in the sports, but these are usually fairly small. And once you have these items, you can then go and play for free for many, many weekends to come. It takes quite some time before you will wear these items out and they will need replacing. You are outside in the fresh air, you are having fun, you are spending time with the people that you love and you are getting some exercise. So it's a win, win, win for me. On weekends, Vickers and I really love to get out of the house at least for an hour or two. And one of our favorite activities to do is taking a walk. Now walking is completely free. We either go down to our local park and walk there or we take one of the walking trails that are very close to home. Sometimes we will get in the car and venture a little bit further so that we can go and experience somewhere different. And on days like this, we will always pack a picnic lunch and spend a few hours at the new location. Um, and this is really lovely to spend time together away from home and away from our regular distractions. We live just a 10 minute drive from the beach and we prefer to head down there close to sunset for a walk along the beach when nature puts on the most beautiful display of that evening sunset. There is just something about the sea air that makes you feel so alive. Another one of my favorite ways to entertain myself and to relax and unwind is with a good book. I do own a few books myself, but a lot of these I have received as gifts over the years. I also borrow books from friends, but one of my main places to get my reading material is from my local library. And I just love to spend some time in the library anyway. It is always so quiet and peaceful and there are so many books to choose from. There also are magazines and DVDs. So your local library is a fantastic resource for free entertainment. 
Another way I like to have frugal fun is by entertaining at home. And there are a number of very inexpensive different ways you can do this. For Christmas this year, my husband bought me a home karaoke system. So for New Year's Eve, we held a karaoke party and we will be doing the same next week for my birthday. Now, none of us are particularly great singers. There is definitely no Beyonce's amongst us. However, we all have fun. We have a very, very good time. And once again, that was a present and the initial outlay was relatively low and that will provide many, many hours of entertainment for us. Another way of entertaining at home is by holding a games night. Now, you don't have to own all of these games yourself. I'm sure that amongst your family and friends, there are plenty of board games that you can borrow and share. So entertaining with a games night is lots and lots of fun. You can provide some cheap nibblies and everyone can bring their own drinks. And this is definitely a way that we like to entertain. We also enjoy movie nights and that is either just the two of us or having other people around to enjoy them with us. I will always make a big bowl of popcorn which is a very frugal and yummy snack to have with your movies. Now majority of the movies we will watch will be on Netflix because as I've explained before we split our Netflix with four people so it is a very inexpensive way of getting entertainment for us. However, when it's just the two of us, we either will watch Netflix or we do really enjoy watching some free documentaries on YouTube. Sometimes we prefer a bit more of a quiet, connective way of entertaining and then we will just host a dinner at our home. This definitely does not need to cost a lot of money. There are plenty of delicious frugal meals that you can make for you know, six to eight people without breaking the bank. You can ask others to bring along a dessert if you like, or you can also ask them to bring along their own drinks. This is a lovely way of spending time with your friends and family without it costing a lot of money also. Here in Australia, we have a huge coffee culture. And as much as I love to go and have coffee with friends, there are some times when I actually prefer to have a coffee here in my own home. It is a bit quieter and I can provide coffees for everyone with a morning tea for under the price it costs me for one cup of coffee if I buy it out. So this is also another great way of spending time with the people that you love without it costing you very much money at all. The next thing is something that I haven't done for a while but I have really enjoyed doing in the past and that is visiting the State Museum. It is free or you can donate a gold coin for entry and it is well worth your time. You can spend an entire day going through all of the exhibitions and I find it a really enjoyable, very cheap way to spend a day. When we go, I will always pack a picnic lunch and we will sit al fresco just watching the world go by. So these are the ways that we enjoy having low cost or no cost fun in our spare time. Are there any frugal fun activities that you enjoy doing that I have missed out of this list today? But that's it for today. Thank you so much again for watching everyone and please take time to have fun in your lives. So that's it. Bye for now. See you next time.